Hello. Welcome to the hub, the Holistic University of Brisbane. I'm Dr. Ramesh Senibiratna Alagurantan, Arya Chakrabarti. It's a long name. I've explained it in another video. But I wanted to uh, show you the HIP, HIP, the Hub Irrigation Project. I've been, I've just turned the water on after a few days following the success of Dr. Ramesh's rain machine. I'm putting it to the test. I'm also creating a clean green Brisbane. We've got a new Lord Mayor, Adrian Schrinner. Look him over there with some people in with the football. But this is their budget plan. Their budget at a glance. They're creating, they're growing a greener Brisbane. Council is creating more to see and do in a city that is clean and green with more than $300 million committed to protecting and expanding green space for everyone to enjoy the lifestyle our city has to offer. Brisbane's biggest park in 500 years, no, 50 years, <laughs> will be realized by transforming the council-owned Victoria Park Golf Course into a 45 hectare green space with more events and better facilities while retaining the part part course driving range and function center. The comprehensive research program to establish Brisbane as Australia's koala capital is also planned. Koalas have returned to Tui Forest and there were koalas on my parents' property in Karina Heights, which used to be White's Hill, White's Hill Reserve. Uh, it used to be a council dump, and the council had a quarry as well in Pine Mountain Road, and they chopped down the whole of the Pine Mountain. It took them 75 years. They gave the other side of the road to Boro, who mined into the mountain and left the crater lake. The creek, the Pine Mountain Creek, was dried up. Then, uh, after the rain, it would have a little bit of water in it. And wallabies used to come down to the creek. And I saw them. They came early in the morning. And my, f my mother used to feed a flock, a big flock of rainbow lorikeets, like I have myself. But she used to feed them. She used to feed them bread with honey in the style of the Karamban bird sanctuary. I feed them with bread, plain bread, slices of white bread, which they love. And it doesn't clog up their insides as it's rumored to do, because I don't give them old bread. I give them fresh bread straight from the supermarket. beautiful birds but they poach them they poach them these are the sentinels they should call them sentinel birds
Manorina melanocephala. Black-headed manorinas. Anyway, I have turned on this blue into the water. <laughs> it blew into the water. We have a new Lord Mayor, Adrian Schrinner. And I was reading you what they've done. They've also got a comprehensive Brisbane suburbs are said to become even become greener, not even, just greener, with a record funding of 22.8 million to create tree-lined boulevards, increase tree planting in suburban parks and continue the popular free native plants program. I got two native plants from the native plant program in 2012 or 2011, maybe earlier, 2009. And I planted them and then they were all chopped down by uh, my neighbor Miller when I was locked up. I just found out that it was Miller he applied for the job to clear around my house and store my garden. My father was involved in it. And they reported me as being armed and dangerous because I cut a groove into that paper bark, Melodyuka tree. I went with an ornamental mirror knife and I cut a groove into it to remove the paper box. And Miller, he's the fellow over here, reported that I may run across the road and stab him. And I was arrested after I had returned to my house by four armed police and taken to the PA hospital and locked up for two months. Meanwhile, they chopped down all my plants that I'd planted over the past few years. So this is the boulevard tree that has been planted. The boulevard tree. tree line boulevard. They planted this tree after Miller killed the trees that were on there that they'd previously planted. And then they planted this one a couple of years ago. And they planted my one a couple of years before that, around 2012. And you can see the difference in the health of my tree versus all the others in the street. Immediately after they planted it, I got a bucket of water and watered it. They chopped this tree down at the roots and tried to kill it. This is uh, Grevillea. And you can see how tall the Grevillea has grown since 2015. That's when it's free to do its own thing. Over there, my neighbors, the English couple, the Collis, they have a Gravillia, which from the trunk you can see is really old, but it's tiny, stunted. They cut down half of this mango tree, the top half, to stop the bats from roosting. The bats used to feed there.
And I got all this beautiful wood with peeling bark for my artwork from uh, that house across the road over there. The workmen were going to release it to mulch. And I had ferns growing all around, as you can see from my photographs. And they were all stolen, so this is all regrown. This is all regrown since 2015. They cut this banyan tree down at the roots, but it survived. And they cut this grevillea down at the roots. And they cut that mango tree down. But it's not only grown back, it's had beautiful mango fruits. The original frog breeding ponds were over here. From this tap over here, which I have left off. And this is where I mine my ochres. There's a vein of beautiful orange ochre. Now I've been moving the ochres. I wanted to show you my the gardening that was done by the megalopodian. It moved all my grass that I pulled out and distributed it. They're very aesthetic birds. So this is Dr. Romish's rain machine. And that's the water flowing, the CGA water meter. And these are frog ponds, ready for summer. And the water's been flowing for about half an hour. And I'm observing the skies to see whether it makes it rain. <laughs> Well, I know for a fact that it will attract frogs if I keep it running for two weeks. I should breed frogs. I need to keep it running for two weeks. That's about how long it takes for a frog to become a tadpole, an egg to become a tadpole, I suspect. I might be wrong, but I'm going to study them. So I'm going to leave the water flowing. I don't know how long for. I'm trying to get support from Lord Mayor Adrian Schrenner for my project so that I don't have to pay for the water. <laughs>